Hi everyone and welcome to today's card creation. I'm playing part of the Crafty Meraki Christmas Extravaganza YouTube Hop to celebrate their latest release. Now each of the release has the effortless artistry papers and coordinating stamps, dies and some sentiments, some hot foils. So there is something for everybody in this release. I had a ton of fun playing with the Blooming Knoll set. Now this Blooming Knoll set also comes with not only the paper collection, but the dies and the stamp as well. I did also play with the Gilded Holiday Greeting Hot Foils and the Coordinating um, die so I made a ton of sentiments offline so that way I'm able to just grab and reach to make the easy holiday card making and I am loving this efficient way of card making for someone who works full-time this is my jam I use crafting as my therapy and my release and doing it this way I've also color coordinated them in a little pack so if I use say like the matte gold foil or the red glitter version or just a gold foil and a silver i put them in my little packs ready to go and oh, i just love this way of crafting this has been my jam pretty much for the last couple of years just trying to adjust to a couple of things in my routines um so yeah best way now i'm going to create a watercolor card today i'm going to show you an efficient way because I have just found tips and tricks along the way to make quick card making that kind of still fills my cup and I can still do the art of giving for my cards, um, especially around the Christmas time. So I'm going to first heat emboss this card with the polished gold embossing powder from WOW. I also use their embossing ink. I've also got this little cute, um, it's like a... A press but it's like like a ladybug it's you know one of those stamping tools that everyone's got but I got this from a local lady here in Australia so I thought that was really cool so I'm gonna heat emboss this on watercolor cardstock the reason why I'm gonna choose watercolor cardstock even though I'm not gonna be particularly watercoloring it makes for great ink blending um, and for me I don't have to put as much as pressure on my arm or shoulder. It just blends really well. And I use um, some blending brushes to make that really easy as well. So what I have done is I'll just heat emboss these. Now there's three images to this stamp set. One is like the leaves background and one and the two of them are like the poinsettias. Now hopefully I don't butcher that. I've always never said it right, I believe. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I heat set this. My heat tool is set on heating um, the set two. So there's two options. Setting two is like a higher speed, um, higher fan speed and higher heat source. Um, so that way it is quick to heat emboss. Um, setting one is more based on like, it has like a drying slow fan heat setting. So you can use that for just more like quickly, um, setting anything that you like or drying it's really really great to have those two options when heat setting i find so once this is all done i'm going to now you've seen in the background there um i'm using a misty i actually stuck this on my misty as well i also want to um mention that part of this celebration they're doing eight fantastic hops and part of those um, hops they're giving away like Misty's massive set of Cara markers um, also the products obviously but there is so much of the giveaway it's just massive so part of the giveaway as well for this hop if you would like to follow us subscribe and follow along to the next person and I'm going to mention all of that in the description below in the body of the text there um, and the giveaway will be announced on November 6th as well. So read all the disclosures as well if you want to play part of it and comment along the way. It's going to be so exciting. This is my first hop with Crafty Meraki and I'm in love. Not going to lie to you, I am in love. I love the paper packs. I think, um, you know, if you 
want to create something quickly on the go it's so perfect i will also be playing part on the other hops where i'll show you and demonstrate a really cool technique on instagram reels and instagram as well so don't forget to follow me along there as well now i will be using distress well i have used distress oxide inks in this and i'll list the colors below i've tend to blend the lightest color on the inside and the darkest color on the outside now i chose this way usually i will go the other way around darker to lighter um, but because the way this is die cut out and the way the images are i liked that the darker element could peek through um, especially because I'm going to layer this now you can see that I went heavy-handed on that Fred for the lumberjack but because of the ink blending and the tools and the type of cardstock you're not going to notice this when I die cut it out I'm really messy and haphazard putting this ink on so you're going to see that you know even though I've done this in this way this ink blending style the rough and ready you will still love the result and i still love the result of this so don't be afraid to just stick within your comfort zone if that's what you want to do to me this is what i felt like doing on the day um, this is what i felt inspired by these are the inks i wanted to play with and inspired you know be inspired by now because it's distress oxide inks and i've heat embossed i wanted to uh, make sure that the heat embossing still came through just by buffing away with a tissue of any excess ink here's that die and i'm going to place some washi tape around but see what i mean like it's you don't even notice the haphazard way i've ink blended on this and i absolutely loved how these turned out now i got a splat box i did have this particular one for sprays but i've pretty much saturated it an awful lot that I sometimes wreck my project because um, I didn't put anything down so I got a new one and this is like a, a crafty delivery box where some crafty goodies arrived in <laughs> so it is now my splat box so I've got a little palette here I've got like an aqua brush the reason why I feel like I, I use more of an aqua brush for this splat kind of technique is I if I feel like I didn't add more water, I can squeeze the water out of this and add the water as I wish. And it also retains the water in the brush. So I feel like I have a little bit more control and the saturation of the acrylic um, white paint. And yeah, and I like big blobs. I find that it gives a little bit cool texture there was a rather big one that did land on that um so i do cover it up with strategically on how i place the poinsettia over the top but i'm really not too phased like this is the whole idea of crafting is to just enjoy the process and you know what we can cover most of our mistakes up anyway with bling um which i thought i was gonna do but i didn't need to i just strategically placed the poinsettia over the top <laughs> all right so i've got some craft bases here and I'm just going to add a little bit of interest. So I've got my scoring here um, and I'm just going to add just some stripes, you know, just some indentation on there. And then that's where I'm going to place the ribbon over the top. I've got a ton of Christmas ribbon that I've had to dust off for the hold vault, from the hold vault. Um, and also, you know, it's the best time of the year to use them. So I've got some bling here as well that is part of the collection. And I'm just going to kind of figure out how I want to place everything. So here I am kind of um, playing with the layout. I did not have anything in mind when I created this card. All I knew was the technique um, and what was calling on my desk at the time. So I have adhered that down with a ton of double-sided adhesive tape um, just to make sure that stays down i'm going to place this um, on the craft card mat this is side folding now this is australian size i believe we're a little bit thinner um, and longer in our sizes and then i'm just going to put a ton of double-sided foam tape all over this underneath um, and all the layers so this is going to be quite bulky probably not to mail more a hand delivered type of card 
which I'm good um, to do. And then I'm just going to place these strategically on and then adhere the sentiments. Once I'm happy with that, I'll add some bling to this and then I am finished for today's card creation. Now, there is a lot of background noise with my cats and the birds. I'm doing this really early in the morning, my voiceover, so that I am not, um, one, waking up the family, but two, they're not in the background of me um, with the voiceover today. <laughs> anyway, I've also got this pickup tool from Crafty Meraki as well, which has been really great. I didn't realize I needed one until I got this one. I used to have one back in the day. I don't know what I've done with it and misplaced it, but I hope you like today's card creation. Don't forget to play along the hop. Visit all the social media sites because there are a ton of prizes on every one for, for the release. So thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to read the description below. All right, have a great crafting day. Bye.